Um, I have been approached by this Premier before I met this out um, his comments with regards to rights of way and I do apologise but I had just completed the notes in HS2 and I do apologise that it's missed out. Um, I would suggest you know, perhaps you might like to take an item of rights of way at a future meeting in the new um, civic year and this is an issue that may well come up with regards to HS2 and so if you're happy with that. So what is it? I'll bring that up at a few, it won't be the main meeting, probably June. Just I want to record it somewhere, I'll say May, you can get it when it comes to the 12th yeah. years. Yeah. 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 I will record it in the middle of this meeting. There's one more thing I'll stop it, sorry, our Mayor's engagement. Is, it, is, is, is there a Mayor's engagement to the Lord Parker? Is that an engagement? That hasn't happened yet. It's not happened yet. It's, not happened yet. it's, not happened yet. it's too late for the, too late. Ah, that's right. Okay. I only received it this week. The agenda has already been dispatched. I'll speak about that other recommendations. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, you're happy with the minutes? Yes. I'll second it. Yeah, thank you. Is there any request from members of the public to address the council? Um, we do have a request with the discharge six one two seven. That's okay. a district item. Uh, Mayor's engagements. Yes, Mr. Chairman, you should have in front of you a copy of the mayor's engagement. Uh, Matthew Lizzie, as you can see, um, as a guest mayor. Um, we have quite a few events. Um, can I thank St. Helens Parish Church once again for hosting the civic service? I can also thank my husband, Dr. Brendan Lover, who's been assisting the stewarding and taking photographs at that event. Um, it was well attended despite the snow, and I think everyone enjoyed it. Our photographic um, layout tried to keep the take a point to look at it. It was very, it was a really nice day. Um, I've mentioned the UCA already. We very sadly said goodbye to Mr. Joe Joseph from the Allotment Association. Um, Joe had been a stalwart of the community for many years. And both the Nessie Powder and myself were delighted to be invited to Spice Club, the new restaurant at the bottom end of town. Um, again, can I thank my husband, Dr. Fred Lover, who took the photographs at the event for the bar and for the town. Um, it was very new business, all led to see a new business opening in the town. And they also welcomed colleagues from Erewash, with the couple of places from Erewash there as well, with good chat about various issues. Um, coming up, um, there are a couple of items in April with regards to Lord Parker VC. Both invitations arrived after the dispatch agenda. The one is for um, the official one, the Royal Marines are organising at the cemetery. And I've now received another one from Combined Services from the previous weekend. So I will be speaking to the town member about this and I will let you it will be posted. Um, and it, all that happens in May so far are the annual town meeting and annual town council updated. And thanks for that. Uh, section 137 request. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, in front of you is section 137. The mayor is going to stand down to this item and the next mayor is going to come and take care. I just have an interest in the health of your. Is there anyone else with an interest in helping you? Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Well, do I can, because I've been speaking to them. You're not a member of it, but you have to do the last thing you can tell have been lobbied. No, I've been lobbied, I just went in. You are I was just going off the street that they were struggling, so I went in. Yeah. I, I want lobbied, I want to approach lobbied. Yeah, you, 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 don't, you, you don't have an interest as such. But you have been assisting them, and we need to know that you've been assisting them. Yeah. yeah. I've got that noted down, thank you, Councillor. Right. Um, what I'm going to do is what we did with St Helens, and we have Mr Fox from the Helpful Bureau to speak to you before we actually speak on that one. And I'm going to take the CAV request first. Now, pardon me. I've got my time first. Look out, correct. Yeah, right. When I was doing this, I thought, no, it's not, I know the piece of legislation around citizen spice bureaus, I just couldn't think what it was at the time. I thought, I'll sit it on section 137 and then I can correct it. And that's what I'm doing now. Citizens Advice Bureau and similar bodies. There's a separate power to this body, such as Citizens Advice Bureau, in advising individuals and by making or receiving communications or pre 
providing representation to or before anybody or person in assessing an individual's rights or obligations. This remarkably wide enactment seems to allow for a form of legal aid, but seems to enable a local council to assist an individual in assessing rights which it does not necessarily itself possess. Local Government Act 1972, sections 1422A. So basically, you don't fund the Citizens Advice Bureau if you are likely to do so out of section 137. What you need to do is consider whether or not you wish to assist the Citizens Advice Bureau with the difficulties they're having at the moment, and you would take that funding out of your reserve to do so, but you haven't made any allocation for it. My advice to you on this matter would be to invite a member of CAB to come along to your June meeting, and I will, if I'm not far, I don't think I'll be clarking that meeting, and if I'm not, I will advise whoever is clarking it on it, I will do so fully. Um, I think that would be the best thing to see exactly what they want and how much money you would want to, if you were mindful to support them. Also, I would advise to be very careful on this because you would not, I would not think that you would wish to take this on as an annual um, financing operation. And also, as the council in the last um, year of its current administration, it wouldn't really be appropriate to make this decision for future administrations. So my advice would be that you instruct me to invite whoever is the coordinator, the appropriate coordinator for CAP for this area to come along to the meeting in June, whatever date that is, I haven't done the calendar yet, um, and speak to you on what they're doing and what they want. Yeah, I would like to propose that we, um, that we actually ask the member of the AB to uh, come to the next available meeting and, um, and so that we can get more information and then obviously the council will decide in its wisdom of uh, what it would like to do. Um, and then we can, I understand exactly what you're saying, thank God. And uh, so I propose that we do ask uh, the appropriate person to come and speak to us. Um, I'm sorry, I just I just could not remember the legislation was when the application no. came in. Uh, it's, it's not it's not everything's not right at the front of your brain. You haven't used it for a long time. Likewise, um, the health <coughs> bureau is it is on a line here whether it would come in under this separate power issue or whether it would be to section one three seven. Um, I'll let Mr. Fox speak to you first of all, make a presentation, and then we can discuss it further. Is everyone happy with that one? Much of clarification. How, how much um, sort of weight does the health of you have as opposed to the CAB? Well, what it comes in, so let me get the, I should have marked this piece of legislation as well, just bear with me a minute. Because it's one I don't use very often, I haven't got it marked. Well, we'll it <laughs> This can be information can be brought up. Um, I have marked it actually. Here, here we are. Basically, unofficial bodies at the centre. There are many professional and unofficial bodies of national status which matter to local government. Um, the realms of communities for civic boys, campaigns to protect rural lands, or campaigns for protection of rural wheels. Here, used as example. And the purpose important organisations concerned with recreation, third, social welfare has a great variety of interests and bodies. These include Citizens Advice Bureau, the National Council for Voluntary Organisations, um, Age Concerns, and uh, West Council for Social Services. Several organisations concerned in the promotion of the interests of small communities, Federation of Community Associations, Associations of Neighbourhood Democracy, National Association of Local Councils, National Federation of Women's Institute. The National Federation of Women's Institute. Yeah, this is why um, I suggest.
suggest that we hear it with the frog, such as C. Yeah. Yeah. See how you want to take this, yeah. and then you can give me yeah. an instruction. Is that all that right with everyone? Yeah. 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 If you were attacking on your behalf of the Chair, I'll ask the Mr. Cox to make this presentation. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Margaret gave a little list here. She said she wouldn't say much, so she gave a few little bullet points to point out. Basically, the ch our charity is at risk at the moment, mainly due to, fund to cuts in funding over the past three years. And we've been here in Stapleton now for over 40 years. And when you were talking about uh, the, old C the CAB, we also used to be with the old advice bureau there as well. So uh, we've got a, a long history within Stapleton itself. You see, the other factors that are causing our problems is, which have put a lot of burden on our resources, are the repairs to our actually gardening van. We had a break-in, we've had theft of gardening equipment, and there's been a terrible rise in running costs. Okay? We have tried to cut our club by reducing off the tower. And if anybody's aware of it, if you ever walk in there now, the phone is always ringing and the ladies are there saying, we wish you a moment, and trying to cope the best they can. And many of our actual employees are actually putting in an unpaid overtime just to keep the charity going. Okay. We are always trying to raise extra funds from wherever we possibly can. We hold top sales, raffles, book sales, bake cakes. Now, one of the problems that we are having now, and I think this goes for everybody, within the voluntary sector now, is that people like Nottingham County Council's grant aid runs out at the end of June. And we have said that they, will, and they have said that they will, may not be able to let us know how much funding we will get until the end of May or the beginning of June. This leaves us in a very, very vulnerable position. And as the chair and the trustee of it, because we're a charity, we must look at that and say, look, you know, is, you know, we've got to think of our staff, do we put out, send out redundancy notices on three months' notice, or what? This is a very tentative time. Um, we, as, it, as it goes on now, we've already used our reserves to keep going. Our reserve policy says it should be three running costs month and we're beginning to eat into that. Okay? So what we are asking here is support <coughs> mainly to help with the general running costs, to buy a new van for our gardening decorator and a little bit more gardening equipment that's got lost. I could go on a lot more but they are basically the salient points and really we ask please can we help because we're trying to help people for stable but we are the helpful bureau we're asking you for your help please if any questions please do ask i will try and answer them yes How <laughs> The, the, we need to move out. The oh. engine. So we're basically asking, really, as, as much as possible. I mean, it, it sounds terrible to say that, but what is the cost of a van, a second-hand van, a decent one that will keep us going? I mean, if I was putting money out there, I'd say, well, five would five thousand pounds buy one. I actually don't go, you know, I don't go out and buy vans. No, it won't. And it won't. Not decent one. You know. Um, but we need help to get over these, well, counteract these changes in funding, the loss of funding. We need well, a little bit of input to try and help us get over them. You see, 
we have digital dictation. What we're, we're picking out is um, home helps to go into people's houses to help them wash, uh, help people in their own homes. And it's very busy. So we think to ourselves, I know, we'll employ another person. Because of the amount of money that comes in, yes, it covers their wages, and we get a tiny little bit of profit from that. Yes? But at this time, we couldn't take anybody more on now because obviously we're risking because we're going into our reserves. We can't employ people, extra people, to do extra things that would bring the revenue in. Yes, because obviously we may have to think about making people redundant. And if we find out at the end of May, or June, that not scouting council funding has been cut, well, we, as the charity commission said, we as trustees must be prudent. Responded to emails from these people and they have responded to phone calls from me. So that obviously makes me feel a bit, you know, but it's in right and it's in right that they haven't responded, right? But I also, with two of the ladies, went to see Ruth, uh -huh. right, as well. We went through the problems that they've got, and one obviously is the building, the amount of rent on it, and again, my role is your work, and I did discuss with you that I wanted. Richard to be here when we discuss, you know, about using finding a suitable rent that give him an idea of how much money we wanted. But again, it's like a stumbling block because nobody's been interested. Mm -hmm. So the gentleman has come here, cap in hand, should I say? I think the easiest way to do it, we all have a proper discussion, is to decide what's best for us to try and help them. That's mm -hmm. my view. I don't know how anyone else feels, but I think we need to push a few more buttons, right, at the county. And I am going to meet it with the borough as well, but I'm not, John, I'm not blaming you, I'm about Mr Jackson. I think his buttons need to be pressed and they need to come and have a look at this. I have spoken to Councillor Longdon with regards to this and he is aware of the problems there. 
Um, I am aware that there are issues with the building that the health review will mm -hmm. use. I'm not sure exactly what they are because they're not giving me full details of it. Someone might like come and see me and talk me through it. Perhaps it becomes a solution that might help them. Mm -hmm. uh, if John would like to come around and see me one day next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I should, yeah. 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 Y
Um, Paddy has a short list and he will be interviewing before the end of April and I think that next week we will be able to inform you what the situation is mm. and where my health centre will be in mm. Thank you for that. And then the whole plan in your day. Yeah, Mr Chairman, I do apologise you brought the document forward because document forward is supposed to be the neighbourhood plan. However, I haven't yet got the latest version of the document. I have been chasing it. There's a number of people around this table who have been chasing around looking for dates for a meeting. Yes. What's this space? I hope to have a date next week. Hopefully. Um, and I'll report back. At the moment, it's still ongoing. I know that I've seen the information that Councillor McGrath has passed um, with the Gas Community group, group. I know that the ecology um, information plans, etc. Well, I know, I understand it's underway. I know that Ken Martin is chasing for the list of consultants who have to be consulted. Um, i sent a document to us without passport so neither he nor I could open it. So I know that is being chased. Um, I will report back as soon as I've got any information and as the members who are also members of that group will be getting a date for, and I do apologise, but it's not, it, it, I keep throwing dates out there and people think there's always someone who needs to be there, can't be there. Yeah. Uh, not yes, Mr. Chair, you have a fight with you and report with regards to a lot of Right, um, so far we're just going on as usual. Um, as you can see, we've seen a number of vacant spots we have, but I can tell you since I've dispatched the agenda, I've let six allotments, select allotment spots, so six unions have been taken out. And I've, and I've, yeah, people, and I've other people taken them up. I'm delighted to say that I'm helping a beekeeper, or you're helping a beekeeper. She's going to put a couple of pies on that site that used to be the one on my plot at Albany. And we're giving her that area free as she will keep it tidy and yeah, manage it. And having bees on an allotment site is brilliant. She's also working with Diggin, who will also have her own beekeepers. So it's just working really well for everyone. She's going to fence off a small area for the hives so that she's unaware of it. Yeah. So I'm hopeful that that project will take over. Anyone else who would like to um, take over a patch on that land for something, mm -hmm. if it's for a community-based project, if they'd like to contact me before I go, I'd be like to assist them with that one. Anything else in the allotments, if anyone wants to? Yeah, yes, yeah, I'd just like to, I'm, I'm, I'm most, most happy we're going to the bees coming back onto the development for the simple reason is without bees we won't be able to leave guys as we all know and it's very important that and this country has lost millions of bees over the last 10 years and then there's a lot of um, work being done throughout the country to bring more bees on because if we don't have bees you know what will happen so we like to support them I will mean, tell you, Mr. Chairman, a lovely story from five years ago where an IV allotment um, holder phoned me up one day to I quote, ban bees from the allotment site. <laughs> so, uh, however, I think the town council will hold in favour of having beehives on the site. We also have some pies up in Nottingham Road, a very delightful gentleman up there. Got a couple of pies up there. Um, so, hopefully, that's something. If anyone would like to apply again before I go, see me and Friday May are qualified as beekeepers. Um, I'm sure it's how it sounds like to see if they need to go support that project. Yeah. Um, <coughs> anything else? I'm happy to have any questions on it. If not, um, I know there's no clock there from Nottingham Road again, they've all gone. Okay. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, I've thrown this up again because of your retiring. I thought this might be of interest to people with this. Um, I am, you see what happens and what goes on. What's required, you will need to look at in the future a new CCTV system because it's well past the sell by. You will need to look at redecoration. I've been shouting at this for years, but we've all lived and we came to do bits. There's been something else that needed done. Um, Civic regalia will need to be sent to um, the 
refurbishment, and um, we suggest that that's done next year. So that's the final question for that. There's nothing you didn't say that gives it done. It's either about um, back and behave or bottoms that do them and they don't carry on. We need to see them because it's still going over. So um, it needs to be done. I would suggest having it done, okay, we have a format successive. I would suggest having it done during Carter next year because there won't be any use to such a no, day. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I won't, that, I would suggest that to my successor. We must get some new pins then, Bob. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> It's pretty dark, it's around, it's pretty. Uh, there will be, so, let me just finish on this one, please. <laughs> it's pretty self explanatory, it's more just for interest for you. I will be updating the IT system, I will be updating the door system, either general maintenance has to be done, and they will be done with financial okay. Yeah, I, I, I think we've all read through this and we all realise what, what we're doing. Yes. Uh, and, um, and the tax card report to Microsoft off on print, which is fine. Uh, I think, yes, this is something that has to be looked over in this next 12 months. And I can imagine, I'm only surmising, uh, I can imagine that obviously when it comes to, to the budget, all this will to be sorted. And uh, it would be done um, at the right proper time, especially the change that probably end of March next year. So yes, it's something that needs doing and probably needs to be done each year. Any other comments? Yeah, yeah. It will obviously myself and my successor will report back at regular intervals. How 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 reasons thing with it? Mr. Chairman, I've been asked to start placing this item on the agenda again for the federal issue to bring up anything on and um, hi, we... Um, yeah, can I say, I am very disappointed in, in, in the situation that we seem to be in as far as reporting. Um, I reported in the British stuff. Um, if you go onto the, the, the county website, uh, it tells you to report anything to do with payments and rules. If you do, first of all, you'll hear nothing back. <coughs> Secondly, uh, at the, the last track of the transport meeting, uh, which we have here, um, um, the council uh, refused to take any more um, from um, a few councillors who have been sending stuff in. And um, then that we see, uh, by a report at the county council, that um, there is a list of places where um, roads and payments are going to be repaired and guess what, they go with not mentioned. And, and this is an ongoing thing, and I'm really prepared for it. And, and I like think that the county, we should say to the county, you know, come on, we're here in Stapleford, we have roads, we have payments in the UK, and we can only write that, ask them. Right, Mr Chairman, um, uh, I'm not really speaking, I've got to watch what I commit people for. Right, the next traffic and transport meeting won't take place from after I leave because my successor will take that on. So there won't, so be, we there won't be one in April. There's just no way I can fit it into my workload. It's absolutely impossible. So that, will, that meeting won't happen until later in the year and my successor will need to take that on to their workload. I just, I don't have the time to do it. There's too many other things on the board, particularly at the end of the financial year and all the new regulations that come in. Um, secondly, with regards to reporting, it's much better if you report them yourself than me sitting for whatever number of minutes doing each. You be here all I mean, you know, all I do is mean with reporting people. Um, I do report potholes myself. And I always get a reference number and an email back, and I always get an email back telling me the work's being done. So if you're having a problem with it, come in and see me after this meeting tonight, if you like, and I'll show you what I do to see if that, if we're moving. I did this with Councillor Darby because he was, I mean, pick up a few uh, things and put them up. In fact, not tonight, you might come in one day next week and then um, see what the issue is, because if you do report them, we do acknowledge them. Okay. Well, I have 74 so far. Well, that meant if you sent them 74 in at the one time, I can quite understand why they are. That's why. That's why. I haven't. I haven't sent them all 
I know that um, on several occasions that um, both by the town council and by borough council and by county councillors, um, approaches have been made to the county council with regard to road and highway repairs, as is with every other borough in the county. And it's you wait, you wait your turn to get it done, kind of thing. Um, if you want, I will contact the county council again on this evening and say that the town council is very concerned about this situation yeah. and um, see what reply we get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, can home. Uh, well, I, so I think sometimes the best that comes from members of the public yeah. because uh, work we're on about it today, so don't just go on the website and do it. And I said they have to follow in the seven days. When they have, and they have done it, mm -hmm. so I think sometimes they just get sick of us and they just have to do it. And members of the public do it. Yeah. Then they do it a lot quicker than what mm -hmm. they would do. And when they have 74 people come up and see me tomorrow morning, yeah, I also think that sure, not, not just the repairs they're doing, or I think they turn up on horses when they're doing them, because I'm going to go and take them a bottle of water next time. Um, I've never seen such a poor state of repairs, and they're coming out and doing them, and, and loads of people have said they're just chucking tar in, they're either stamping on it, yeah. or they're driving backwards and forwards and then going. They're not sealing it in. I know there was a video on the internet showing it being done properly, oh, first yeah. of all, because that was for the press. It ain't being done properly, and I, I've never seen ever such a poor, uh, and it's embarrassing. I'm, I'm glad it's not us that's doing it. Oh, just, just very briefly, I went to a meeting last December at the County Council where they did a display of how they used um, the new um, material that they used mm. for filling in the holes and what it is and all about it. And it did look very good, I have to say that. You know, they, um, and they said it was working. I do think the extreme weather conditions we've had have possibly been a problem. And I know that's held up for a bit of the work because at some point doing it will um, be a yeah, problem. But this, this but that. And then the other thing is, I don't think it's right that that meeting's cancelled in two weeks because we only, it's the first time I've heard of it, you know, that it's been cancelled. And the thing is, we only meet once every three months. Physically, Councillor, I don't have the time to do it. I've spoken to Lita and okay. she agrees with me. Physically, I just don't have the time. You employ me 20 hours a week. Mm. Yesterday, for example, I was, came in at 20 past 10, I left at quarter to 7. You know, I, I, I know it's not your fault, it yeah, just means though it's going to be six months yeah, between I'm, the two meetings. Like that. It's not well, obviously so I will put it on the list for my successor yeah. and see when they can pull it in. But even if I'm quite frankly at the moment, I've been doing two jobs since January. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's why I'm saying it's not your fault, I'm not blaming you at all. Because I haven't had any extra time to do it. I'm going for a pay rise one. There's a limit to what you know, there's a limit to how much you can do. Captain Longman. Thank you, uh, Chair. I've got one end to this. Uh, give us some idea of the scope for the budget for 20,000 pop ons county wide. That's the kind of scope we are talking. Uh, we got, I think the figure was somewhat 20 million per point. It's the sort of scope we do. Ask for, ask for my uh, division, and we've got in three, in three projects one big one for the town. And negotiations are very delicate. I will not go into detail. I will not go into details of anybody on anything. Because we're going to be in part of it, if it comes off, we will allow us to come. Mm. It just takes time. Yeah. Uh, it's it's kind of I'll be commercially sensitive. Yeah. Can I ask a question? But that's just beyond. That's a question beyond. So, is it worth us writing a letter, writing one to write a letter to the county asking if? looking for potholes and just, you know, to repair. Is, is that going to compromise? No, I'm going to say it's not. You've got to change the blood issue, like potholes. Yeah, but so... Um, I'm going to say that. I wonder, no debate on yeah. what I'm But is, is that, would, that would not have any, an impact mm -hmm. on it. If we were to instruct Margaret to write a letter saying that obviously we're not happy about the state of the... Yeah, just for the... You know, I don't know how many town councillors there is in the county, but they're all doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. But Karen. Yeah, so I'm just saying, there's a lot of people yeah. putting interference on. Yeah, I mean, it's all right saying that, but we, we've had three meetings in Stapleford, public meetings, and everybody was invited, and several councillors came along, and we came up with some amazing ideas, which we was asked to do by the county council. 
and we submitted everything, and everyone was copied in. We've had no response on it, and I just think that's rude that, that the people concerned at the top just didn't get back to us to let us know what's happening because people ask, you know, and we have these meetings, with, and like I said, we did a presentation in here kind of thing, didn't we? And um, we all, all work together and come up with some really good stuff, and we've had no feedback, right. and it's not fair. Well, I would suggest for that is go, uh, as a borough councillor, go direct to take up, send her an email, direct, direct to take up a county, and yeah, tell right. her that and see if you get do it as a borough councillor. I don't think she'll respond because they haven't responded about funding for a health hub bureau, so I'm sure they're bothered about hotels as well. This isn't, we're in a democracy here, and I think we should send a letter. Oh, yeah. And I hope we do so in the strongest of terms because we always seem to be given a run around, and I think it's right that we send to on behalf of the people of this town that um, we are not going to put up with the nonsense that we're happy to. And it's just not fair. And obviously we've got to have some good projects because the, the, it's like any application form, the better you fill it in, you know, if we're applying, there's another thousand people applying, so we've really got to try and get it. Uh, and I just think if, if we get some projects together, and I was thinking one of them should be the, uh, what, what do we call it, the, the, the street scene, like we tried before right. by, by the Broxton. Right. Can I just, now, this, I know, I know I just ask, you know, who's giving the funding? Well, there's different places you can apply to. There's awards for all, which is a national lottery thing that the town council can apply for, and there's also Tesco bags for help or bags for life by groundwork, which the town council can apply for. And obviously, there's, there's a criteria on there that yeah, you can fill yeah. in. You know, people chuck the tokens in if it's if it's the Tesco one, uh, and if it's the lottery one. You know, obviously that's a bigger pot of money. Right. Or I obviously, if you don't ask, you don't get. Right. You know what I, mean? I suggest you do this here in a meeting that. We've got a meeting in May, the annual council. Yeah. Organise a meeting after the council, after the annual council, with the leader of the town council and the leaders of the minority group and yourself. And sit down and see if you can come up with some project. As soon as you say street scene to me, so we've been down this road at least ten times in the year. <coughs> and the one thing that comes up every time is the town council does not own Yeah, 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 and they're owned by the county, okay. the borough, yeah. and the utility. Mm. And there are a lot of regulations and rules with regard to doing anything on them. As we all know, licenses to do this, licenses to do that. Um, you wouldn't get funding for things that nobody wants you. And the yeah, you can, as long as you get permission off the people owning it, you can apply. So yeah, if we right. said to the county council, let, let's just say lamppost, I'll, I'll use that as an example. If we said to the county council, if we get some money, can we pay the lamppost? I don't, I don't as long as they give us a letter of consent that says yes, you can, then we can apply. Yeah. Can I just say, Sensory Garden, I'm sure we all remember the project in Sensory Garden, yeah. where there was over £5,000 spent on it through yeah. awards for all, um, applying for awards for all. Mm. And it fell down at the last hurdle, not because it was a bad application, it was a brilliant application, yeah, 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 the the but the people who owned the area would not give consent. No. And well, that's, that's why you would ask for consent before you apply. They had, but all through the project, they had been involved and they had a representative yeah. on the group yeah. and were going through it. But when it came to the last bit, so I would counsel very carefully for anything that doesn't belong to you because you could spend a deal of money because you have to, you, to get this money, you usually have to spend money. Mm. Not enough for these, you don't. It takes you ten minutes well, to fill them in. For awards for all, I can assure you, they want. Um, I, 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 the awards for all, I got ten grand off from it. It took me twenty minutes for well, the application for okay. Anything I've been involved with, Mr. Chairman, has always been. There's had to be studies done to ensure that it was a, 
um, compa comparative studies, etc. However, I think what you want to do is organise a meeting in the new civic year, think about some projects, have it with my successor, um, see what's happening. But I would be very careful that you actually have the money to see these projects through and that you will get permission to take them through. Uh, yeah. 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 I was just going to ask the same to ask Rich directly. You're absolutely sure that the um, yeah. buyers are cancelled. 100% sure, yeah. Because it's 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 on the application form. No, no, it says on the application form. Borough councils can't, county councils can't, town and parish councils can't. Councillor Holm. Right. So what I'm proposing really is, like Margaret says, you know, after the meeting in May, and can we get together? So obviously, you're good at doing all those sorts of letters and getting the funding and stuff like that. So yeah, we just need some good ideas. Yeah, that's what's the paper, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Street scene is an ideal one because mm -hmm. it's disgusting. Yeah. The whole town is drab and it's absolutely terrible. So if we can do something like that, that'd be fantastic. Because you know how to get the funding and things like that. We really need that meeting, like I say, yeah. with yourself. No, if we all work together, together, I'm sure we, we can get some. We need to work together work. because this town looks absolutely disgusting. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. It's terrible. So really, as soon as that's made possible, well, let's get on it and let's try and get some money out of them. Might I suggest you involve um, the officer of the county mm. who is responsible yeah. for well, the yeah. lamp standards and everything else because they are very precious about the lamp standards. Yeah. Uh -huh. so if well, that was just an example. It doesn't yeah. have to be that. You know, it, it could be something else. That was just an example. Yeah, yeah. I, I think... Be careful what you're committing yourself to. I think we need, we, we, we need to do it again because last time, I think we're all aware that it was... I won't say it was taken away from us and put yeah. into Beeston, yeah. Yeah. right? Which uh, thanks to Council Epson Store and who were the other, or Jackie, sorry, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Everything was built out correctly and proper, and it was. Let's be honest, yeah. Margaret, it was taken away from us and went to Beeston. Regardless of what we all think, so I think we'll need John's help. Right. We'll need I, I us all pulling together in the same direction to try and, as Amanda said, get this town. Up to scratch. Mm -hmm. End of story. It's no good as all in our end. Up to scratch. Yes. Can I count the room? Yes, thank you. I was just thinking, this is a horse that's written so far. Couldn't Delphi be around for five cents a mile? Because that's what we You've passed over that discussion, talk about that. Oh, that's that. You can't go out. You know, go in. Yeah, Sorry, like I said, coming back to it, and like you were saying, like to get somebody from town to council, if we can organise whenever we do it, Richard, and whoever we do it, so we get everybody there who we need. Mm -hmm. So whoever, if we're going to go for street team, let's go for that because, like I say, it's disgusting. So whoever we need, let's get them there that meeting so they're actually <coughs> there on the day. Not, mm -hmm. well, let's not pack around and go, oh, well, come back to you. Uh -huh. we'll do it there and then mm -hmm. and get the same party, and we'll do it and get it dealt with. So I think we'll all agree that we really need it. Get your project work yes, up to go down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mr. Mm -hmm. Chairman, I wanted to say, um, firstly, I've got councillors, Mr. Tom and Mrs. Room, who requested to hold an event within the town council. It'll be during the day when the town council is open. So if I be here, I would offer to help. Um, on the stage, but I won't be here, so I can't speak for my successor. But it's, I understand it won't involve any staff, so I think the council would speak to you about that. But really, all it is, it's really along with the town council, maybe they're doing the coffee prom, but we all sound like um, when we're having a tea and a coffee, don't we? You know, and a tea and a cake. It's basically exactly the same as that. It's just that we said we'll volunteer our time, so if anybody else wants to volunteer yeah. their time up. That's all it is. It's like open the town right. council, invite them there. Uh, you know, if we can try and pay for PRS license, it's about eighteen pounds for a couple of hours, just to play songs. Ask Barbara Brooks if she put some some info up. And it's really it's, it's just working alongside the town council to do something as well. So it's not a special event at all. Not interrupting anything to do with what Richard's doing. It's just another thing alongside. It was just a suggestion we had, an no idea really. That was it. Well, oh, actually, if I may, um, um, is, uh, if I'm allowed to ask, um, are you writing a play that we can't no, write? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, 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 I wasn't in the old man. Ah, no. Listen, Flower, be quiet. 
Um, I was going to say that um, it's a good idea, and I know that we have some stuff here already, and I'm sure Father yeah. and others will bring stuff along. And uh, as long as we all advertise it well for people to come and see it, that is the point. Because we've got to get the advertising out for it. Yeah. So people will come on that day, and, and um, I know Amanda's going to make a um, hundred thousand cakes. And then, and then, and then that will be a really good idea. And uh, there's one or two people I think in the town who probably help you like Barbara. Mm -hmm. So we need to put our heads together. And anyone's got any ideas, you know, bring them to Mandy and uh, mm -hmm. uh, and see what's what. Yeah, come to the room. I was just just saying, uh, and one of the other ideas is just to have some games like these to play. You know what the soldiers went through. Well, I went to see one horse last night, it's absolutely, and horses and everything. We thought we might just have tabletop games, you know, so I've got sort of like a, like a skittle thing, you know, wish you all round, you know, the cycles down. But if anyone had got sort of like to do it, or so we don't know, you know, I'd be thinking of those kind of games to start doing something. I didn't think we could do that, so. If you can't tag, um, nothing with you. If you contact not the museum castle, we'll send someone out with games of gift. Oh, really? I forgot all about that. Oh, thank you. We're not old enough what you were talking about. No, no, no. Thank you, Doctor. I used to know the person who did it, but they along with her now, but it's worth giving them a And they do come out to other areas, not just the city. Just let us know what help you need. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Set a date. I'll put it on the list before I go. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Coming in to see you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Can you send us info? Still with the delay. Right. Um. Another one from Stapleford Community. Stapleford Remember. You don't want to read that out, do you? You don't want to read that out, do you? No. You just want to. It's for long email. Uh -huh. <laughs> You can read it out, or you can just. Yeah, well, Anything you want to read? No, well, all it was, we had, we had a meeting on the um, something for last month, the 17th of March, and there was loads of different people there groups, churches, schools, and basically everybody and anybody came along. And we've come up with some really good stuff. So, um, what one of the ideas is, and, and we've got some of the money towards it already, which is pretty good, uh, is the they call it, let me get this right, if anyone's there, can, if I get it wrong, just remind me. I think it was called event poppies, and they give or take, they're about 18 each bit. And we're going to try and get, if we can get, I'll, I'll say 188, and I know David's going to tell me I'm four out of my mouth here, but we'll call it 250 then for argument's sake. And then we're going to put, we want to put the names of the people off the memorial on it. And, and if we only raise enough money to get hot, then we can put two names on because they're pretty big. And when you go to other places and that, you see these poppies all over the place, and we've never done that, so that, that's something we've got. Have you not seen it? We used to come back from Southwell or somewhere, or whatever you want to call it. And there was loads in these villages, and they look really smart. I can see that way all the time. They're quite high up. Oh, well, that's So, yeah, this that. Before you go any further, contact the county council. Yeah, no, of course. Seriously, because I've been down this road for stuff and food and lampposts. Before you even order them, get you. I think it's about 500 quid for a license. Now whether they'll wait that or not, I don't know. But you need to get on to them if you want to use their yeah, no, of course, and yeah. they will insist on it. Yeah. Risk assessment. Yeah. They'll insist I'll on give them one of them. Assessment. If you don't hold on the ladder tight, you fall off the And they'll you also insist that the people putting them up are trained to use a ladder. Yeah, I think Ray's all right with that. <laughs> <laughs> he helped us pull that bolting up when Tom was on. Please. We sorted them. Um, Bob, just Bob make sure you fall within it. They'll probably yeah, no, no, of course. It's not, it's not to be done properly, of course. They'll also ask you about liability insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I think we've raised all that as well. Yeah. Um, so that, that's the yeah. poppies. The other bit was the silent soldiers. And what they are, they, they're made of like a, a sheet metal. I don't, I don't know if anyone's seen them. Yeah. They're a bit thicker than a sign that flats outside the shop. And, and they give or take, they're about four foot tall. And we've, we've got so many of them around the town as well. We've already got some, we've got some on order and some on hold because we obviously got to raise the rest of the money to get them. And there's one being paid for that's going out so in, in, in between the best pub in state within the sparkle daycare. Other public houses are available. Well that, that's why I didn't say the name of it, you know. 
And then one outside the worst one. Yeah. Now, well, there's, one, there's one in the square, but it's, it's, we don't know where. It looks like the Conservative Club are doing it because the um, Combined Services have funded that one. And then we've got some others that's going to go in different places, but again, the permissions and all that kind of uh -huh. stuff. Uh, and then if we can raise some more money, we can, we can put some events on stuff like that. But it all depends. Sorry, Basically, the, well, well, the bloke who came from um, oh, the pocket man, yeah, the yeah, pocket man, he's, he's man. from British Legion, Margaret. Yeah, he, he's, <laughs> yeah he, he's actually the, the bloke that's running most of the events in the county. Okay. I, know the, I know these for the duration, or will they be taken down? No, the, the idea is they go up kind of August time, because that's when they was on about starting the, they were going around the schools doing a, a, yeah. a, a, a some kind of event, I can't remember what he said it was called. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So it was, it was roughly August-ish, and then they'd be up until now. Then they'd be up until obviously the event that, that you started organising. You know, yeah. 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 So I mean, I, I, the, the, let me just show you quickly. It's not the best picture, but if you go on Google and type in the what we call that, that's your event soldiers, you take about four foot, it does have actually have, have the writers on the bottom, but they're 100 quid each day, so they're quite expensive and they're a limited amount. And then obviously the pop is the, the other thing. We, we have tried to get some money from the county council because they've got some funding, but we've not had much luck with that because no one's putting their name to it to help us. So we, we, we tried at the beginning of the year and, and that didn't, was not successful. We tried again the other week and again not successful, so it don't look like we're getting it. Against the county council with the chair because they're funding the county council event, and I know they are funding a number of other events. Yeah, well, we've even applied to the county council's for funds, and none of them have got back to us, so that's twice that, now. It may be that they've reached split the well, limit. I, 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 I replied back just to, to be polite, it doesn't cost anything. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll try it. I'm, I'm sure you are. Mr. Mayor, uh, Mr. Mayor. Um, well, actually, these these poppies. Yeah, I've done that. I raised 200 quid up from today already. Yeah. 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 And I've got the back next week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I just thought about getting a pot and just something. Well, people want to, but I ain't got my receipt book at the minute, so because yeah. everything, everything's being written down in here, so I can show people yeah. you know, what, what we've raised and, and you've got to do it properly, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So I've got to start using the calculator now because I've got just three figures. But we've raised 227 pounds, which I think, oh. and that's just off what, about 10 different businesses. So. The rest of the rooms are come back next week, so we're getting there. We're getting this one, Yeah. Have we asked the rich ones yet? No. Is it getting permission? In yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because um, no. uh, if you don't, it takes forever. No, the worst thing you can do is get it up against the wall. It shuts down, man. You'll have the same waiting and you won't get them up if you've not got the permission. Okay. Chair, well, the meeting's here, but you might as well come and prove some point. What? I mean, it's a terrible picture, Richard, it ain't. I'm just going to sleep in bed with my name. I've got a life. I know it's a good life. No, there's no sense when you thank you for your advice. All right, that's a good life. Yeah. Right, is there anything else on that one? No. No, right. Um, can I just say, I've had a letter from Inspector Simon Riley, who is going to be taking over from Steve Bryan. Um, I... We'll be inviting Inspector Rowland to attend the meeting of the town council either June or July. It'll be dependent upon it'll be the head calendar. He's just taking over for our lodging. It'll take him a bit to get things together. So we'll just let you know that's happening. Also, Nottinghamshire County Council, um, HS2 Growth Plan. Please go on to Nottinghamshire County Council's website and have a look at this. Um, the County Council and Derbyshire County Council have put in a joint bid for funding for garden villages, which apparently is going to take in Chilwell, Tolton and all the area around the HS2 moving into Derbyshire. So please have a look at that and see what's happening. We've got time for that. Uh, just a thought on the HS2. It's got to mind a few days ago, actually. 
Uh, yeah, that be the person coming and talk to you. We had a meeting being arranged short term, not sure when. But as this town itself, as it uh, includes the uh, Dolphins Award, it might be an idea to ask the San Diego Parish Council and uh, find out if any cost for use. Because when the station comes, it links with everybody. Yeah. It might be an odd and dull. Uh, I know what I know. So I might be able to ask you to the offer. If you don't want to. Yeah. Oh, we'll we'll What's your class address? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we'll probably ignore it, but uh, I think it would be a good idea to offer. Yeah. Because all the issues, they've got bigger yeah. issues than we've got. Yeah. All right? But nonetheless, all the issues here will be the same as what they've got. Yeah. Yeah. I can make to my colleague at San Diego for a feedback. When Paul came to the, to the meeting um, with his colleague about the HS2, if you remember, it was up on the wall, um, he did actually say that um, he deals with um, the areas including uh, a wash and a trowel and all the areas yeah. within the green. Right. So, um, we know that he's going to come back before Christmas. Uh, so obviously we will be very interested in to see what the next stage is because there's a lot of um, questions still to be asked which they haven't got the answers for at this time. Yeah. Um, I will put him on the list of someone else's to be asked for the in the future. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, can I ask if anyone has um, declared this one, please? Have I? Have I? Have I? Have I? Have I? Yes, you need to. Right, Mr. Chairman, can I just introduce this to you? Um, this is an application for a micro um, pub at <coughs> Precinct area just across the road from where my husband is. I have looked at the plans and I can't see anything that you can object to on planning grounds. I have not had anyone contact me about this other than I spoke to a few councillors about it where we just discussed, you know, mm. is this a good idea or not? Um, yeah. um, yeah. This is what yeah. yeah. Where Domino's used to be. Oh, the it's the red one. Oh, 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 the red is all red. There is no way you, you cannot object on, plan, on parking because there is dedicated parking for those units at the back. It's in a town centre area and there have been licences um, vacated in that area previously. So um, obviously the, the feathers in the warren have gone, therefore there's a gap there. The building's gone, there's a gap there. So anyway, staff may be probably going to have an issue with it. Yeah. Um, that is it. So if anyone can come up with anything else, please excuse me for one minute. Right, well, Mr. Mayor, I will say one thing about this. Yeah, go with it. I'll say one thing about this. Obviously, we have we have anything to object to, but I will say to any resident that lives around that area. If they wish to contact Broxville and they're not happy with it, please do. But to be honest with you, um, I can't see can't see any problems at all. And that's it in a nutshell. And Councillor Brown. Yeah, and Michael Clubs tend to get a bit different. Yeah, they do come and go. We do tend to get a different clientele than say yeah. we say. Is that um, we've got nothing that we can actually say. Nothing that we 
can't complain about it. But if there are residents who are not happy, they must contact the property themselves. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Well, I, I think it's, it's going to be good at least. It's another, you know, it's, it's another business. It's another business. I agree.
Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, five pages mm -hmm. every month. So you've got, say it's June, mm -hmm. and say July, you'll be getting May, you'll be getting May, May. July, because you haven't finished June. Yeah, June would just be closed. Oh, yeah. That's just another reason for going to the six weeks. However, as we all know how bumpy the six weeks is to be, can I say, if you want to change, I'll go up the calendar meetings as pair. If you want to change it, take the first meeting and then discuss with my successor how you want to change your meetings. That would be for you to do. I've looked at six weeks, four weeks, eight weeks. Four weeks I tend not to be enough business, eight weeks I tend to be too much easy. And that's why it's six weeks. If you, I have sent them out in the past in advance if I had the opportunity to close the book in advance. You know, if the meeting's fallen a fortnight after the close of the book, we can get them out. But if it falls a week after the close, we can, there's just no way. If you ask for it, if you are asking for these sheets before the night of the meeting, mm. you will land up, like now is April, you will land up getting the end of February. That's no good. Oh. Because you have to keep to a certain ratio of the weeks of the council. You can't expect a town clerk or <coughs> to send out one and a half months of February. Oh. That, that's ridiculous. So I would suggest, uh, Deputy Leader, that that it stays the same, but then these sheets come out on the table underneath the pile of white sheets. Mm -hmm. the no the because mm -hmm. if you are sitting down, and when you're not listening to everybody all the time, once you've got your head around your figures, then each month is very easy to go through within your head. So, so I would suggest that you keep it as it is. Oh, I, I do apologize. More trouble, and then you're going to go back to work with the town bar and, and whoever else. Yeah. Can I say, I could have sent you out the February sheet. The February sheet was so different mm. from the March sheet because you've got a lot of payments in March that's the end of the financial year. So you might have said the February yeah. sheet went, ooh, and then you've got the March yeah. sheet went, sure. So that's why it's done yeah. the way it is. Yeah, yeah. So, so then can we do like yeah. the yeah. yeah. suggestions? That might follow usually usually get you do it just before you actually hear mm. yeah. just been brought in and put to my desk rather than the bottom of your pocket. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Um, that will be at 7.30, seven thirty, not seven o'clock. So at six thirty, you will be having the annual town yeah. meeting. Um, the annual town meeting, the town councillors are live to run it, but no councillors yeah. need to attend if they do not wish to do so. But I know you want to come along and hear the leader's speech and the town mayor's speech. Uh. And whoever else, um, I'm hoping there's some kind of a presentation, but I'm not quite sure yet what that will be. Um, it's a car tomorrow. Christmas card. Is it the one? <coughs> I don't know. Sorry, but anyway, I will be, I will do something um, for 15 minutes to keep people's interest. <laughs> As we all know, the quorum for that meeting is one. So we have, that's why we have it on that meeting because people are coming to the council and there's a chance that we'll come up to the annual council. Okay. Um, I think I'll probably be passing that one as well so you, you will see me again. Yes. Okay. Um, and anyone I've said to this evening to come in and see me, if you come and see me next week, care in the afternoon and not next Thursday, I'll just keep the book cover at Thursday. But any other day, um, that would be great. Um, anyone that needs any information, again, afternoons rather than morning, so we can get, um, we'll be back to bed up here and I will have a chance to talk to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Twenty twenty.